Through this narrow gap, the visitors of the Mirai Kan Science Museum in Tokyo are getting a glimpse of the future. On the other side is Kodomoroid, a robot newscaster eerily similar to a human. Her name loosely translates to Childroid, and she's part of the museum's newest exhibit that includes two other androids. This is Otonaroid, or Adultroid. She's designed to be controlled remotely, and currently her actions are in the hands of museum visitor Hanai Hayashi, who found it to be an interesting experience. It was a bit creepy, but once you get used to it, it's quite interesting. And it's interesting when you think about how those sorts of things could one day actually be your friend, or used in elderly care, or a variety of fields. The final android, the Telenoid, is able to remotely transmit voices and is designed to be hugged. While many visitors still need to get comfortable around the androids, they could be the norm in the near future, says exhibit staff Takashi Komiyama. I think that technology that is born from these sorts of androids will likely be used in our mobile phones or electronics, and that sort of future is likely going to happen very soon. The Android exhibit is set to be on display for at least a year.